I like how you roll your R's. You got that down. I've got it down. A lot of practice. Got it down pat. A lot of practice, practice. my last name. <laughs> so, Craig, not only is it hot, but we have the humidity, which makes it feel like Florida out here. Yeah, it really does. So 100 degrees may feel more like 105 or 106, and it looks like that humidity is going to be with us again tomorrow. So, and close to record highs yet again tomorrow. We'll start off with the SkyCam network as we look out over downtown. Off in the distance, there's a uh, thin marine layer, and it'll blow back in tonight right along the coast and hug the coast, but it'll quickly go away tomorrow. 65% relative humidity right now. 75 is the temperature sunrise at 544. We will already be in the 70s and at sunset at 805. We will still be with some 90s and triple digits in some of the warmer spots. So looking at the rest of the sky cam network right over La Jolla, a very thin veil of some of those clouds coming on through. We head over to Poway. We've had some of those high thin clouds, but still did nothing for our temperatures or keeping them down. Anyhow, we were actually about four degrees warmer than we were yesterday and right over Mesa Grande. You can see those clouds. They're coming from the southwest. That monsoon is giving us those humid temperatures and the uh, we'll stay with us for a couple more days. Ramona right now 98 95 in Escondido. Look at Ocotillo Wells 116 71 in Chula Vista. Here's the water vapor loop and you can make out where those storms are all of the green there. That's going to indicate where the thunderstorms are popping up right over the desert southwest. So that continues to stay in place tomorrow. That area of high pressure is what's giving us all of the heat. It looks like it stays there yet again tomorrow and we get those thunderstorms moving over the four corners region. And a lot of those high clouds are coming our direction and giving us the humidity. So the high pressure stays in place and that heat wave continues through the weekend, even into Monday and Tuesday. It's not till Wednesday that we see the temperature start to moderate and come back down. So 7 a.m. tomorrow, 70s along the coast, near 80s in some of the warmer spots. That's just our springboard for what happens during the afternoon. These are some stations around the county that will get to 100 plus. Now, these are not the official reporting stations for the National Weather Service. Nonetheless, some of our communities are going to be at 100 plus. Chula Vista, Escondido, and it looks like that heat will be with us even as we go into Monday. So Monday afternoon, we're still back into the 90s. Your overnight lows, we only get down into the 60s and into the 70s in some locations. Typically, we have been dropping into the 50s and 40s for overnight lows, but you can see just how much warmer it is. Your highs tomorrow, 92 in Mira Mesa, 92 in La Mesa, over to Chula Vista, 83, 102 in Ramona, and Alpine 100. Preston and Itica, yeah. July 10th marks 100 years since the hottest recorded temperature was ever marked at Death Valley, 134 degrees. And by the way, from July 5th to the 14th, it was 125 or greater. A lot of people are going there on July 10th for that big anniversary. Here's your extended forecast along the coast, staying close to 80 for several days to come. Your inland numbers, 90s, at least through Monday and even into Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we're back in the mid 80s. But that humidity stays with us right through all of next week as well. So even though we've dropped to the 80s, it's still going to be uncomfortable. Mm, 134 sounds miserable. Why would <laughs> anybody go there they to experience there something like that? On July 10th, they will all go there. It's huge. Crazy. Not yeah. me. <laughs> we'll be watching from we'll here. We'll be right here All in right. San Diego. All right, don't forget you can track the extreme heat with our exclusive Storm Shield app. For more information, just log on to 10news.com and click on mobile.